Oh, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody better shout amen, hallelujah, and praise the Lord this morning. Good morning, everybody. This is the old Cajun man coming to you live from down the bayou. Cajun land, as we like to say. God's country. <laughs> That's what we call it. God's country. Uh, a, a paradise that God gave the Cajun people to prosper in. Amen. To... uh. Just be thankful. Just be thankful for what you have. Amen. Um, I want to start off with a, a prayer this morning. We're going to start off in prayer. Prayer everybody should know. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen, Lord, for thine is the glory and the power. Amen. And um, also, i like to share this prayer that God gave me one day while I was praying. It kind of goes like this. Oh, Father in heaven, thank you for giving me this moment in time to share with you. You are the guiding light that leads me out of the darkness and into the glorious and beautiful light of the day that you, O oh Lord, have set before me. Dear Lord, grant me the courage and the strength to fight off the temptations of the evil one. May my faith be stronger than my fears, so that I can stand up and shout, No more will I let my weaknesses be doubtful of your strength in me, O Lord. Lord, in you there is no fear, there is no doubt. There is only courage, strength, and strength, O Lord. I hear you calling me out of the darkness and into the glorious light. Amen. That's how God works. He gives you everything you need, when you need it, how you need it. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm uh, thanking the Lord. I don't know. I'll get a little feedback here. I don't know what's going on. A little scratching somewhere. Amen. Lord, help us. Jesus. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I think it was my mouse on something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Praise God, somebody. Um, remember, um, everybody listening out there, uh, share this video with your friends. Amen. Um, somebody needs a little touch. Every now and then, y'all. Somebody needs a little touch. Amen. Because God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Amen. Um, I want to sing a little song for y'all this morning. Get, get, let's get some worship going. Amen. Let's get some worship going. Um, it's a song called, He Touched Me. Because everybody needs a little touch. Amen. Shackled by a heavy burden, need a load of guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me. And now I am no longer the same. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And all oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happen and now I know he touched me and made me whole touch me Lord touch us today make us whole we love you Lord since I met this blessed 
day thing the Lord calls us hallelujah let's see what's today the 24th oh I gotta um <laughs> before I go any further I want to um, wish a very blessed and happy birthday to my beautiful wife April we're not gonna see how old she is amen hallelujah we'll, we'll grant her that satisfaction hallelujah but uh, needless to say, uh, my best friend for over 40 years, because we met, we was young, and married for 38, amen, and uh, I'm so blessed, amen, I thank the Lord for such a blessing, for such a, a, a partner in life, amen, my beautiful wife, who has uh, not only taken care of this family, but she takes care of me. I can't even say. I, I'm so thankful for her. I love her so much. I love her to the moon and back, Lord. Thank you. And and Lord, just bless her today with mighty blessings, Lord, on her birthday today. Amen. April, I love you, sweetheart. Okay, look, we're going to read a little um, excerpt from a book called Jesus Calling. And it's enjoying peace in his presence. Amen. And it's a day by day journey with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I think I might get me a little sip of water before I start. My mouth is getting a little dry this morning. I have my little ice box right here. Amen. If I can get to it. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. I've got too much stuff on here. I'm still organizing. This is my little man cave here. Still organizing in here, and uh, I still got all kind of junk all over the place. So, y'all pray for me, Amen. I need prayer. I need daily prayer, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all probably noticed that wasn't a sip of water, but I needed to wet my whistle, Amen. So here we go. Jesus calling. See, I am all around you. Hovering over you even as you seek my face. I am nearer than you dare believe. Closer than the air you breathe. If my children could only recognize my presence, they would never feel lonely again. I know every thought before you think it. Every word before you speak it. My presence impinges on your innermost being. Can you see the absurdity? of trying to hide anything from me. You can easily deceive other people and even yourself, but I read you like an open, large print book. <laughs> Deep within themselves, most people have some awareness of my imminent presence. Many people run from me and vehemently deny my existence 
because my closeness terrifies them. But my own children have nothing to fear, for I have cleansed them by my blood and clothed them in my righteousness. Be blessed by my intimate nearness. Since I live in you, let me also live through you, shining my light into the darkness. Psalm, and that comes, I think, from Psalm 139, according to this book, 1 to 4, Ephesians 2, 13, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. You can find reference to what I just read. Amen, y'all. It's, it's, a, it's a great morning, this morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. We will be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah. Somebody better shout. God is good all the time. Don't forget, if you want to make a little comment, don't don't be as shy to make a comment. Shout out at me. Let me know you're listening. Um, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I can't say that enough. Amen. Praise God, somebody. God is so good. Um, he is always there for us. He will always be there for us. Jesus said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Don't forget that He loves you. God loves you. You are special. Every one of us is special. Don't let anybody tell you any different. God knows the number of hairs on your head. Amen. I guess He used to know what I had. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You probably heard me say this before, but you know how special you are to God that and prove that God exists. Amen. We see we look at our fingers. I don't know if you can see it, you got some light showing it, but the fingerprint? Your fingerprint? Seven billion people. Over seven billion people on this planet. And nobody has your fingerprint. Amen? You think that's an accident? You think we just came out of some goo somewhere and everything that developed here in the world, you see all living creatures? No. No. That's stupid. Amen. I hate to say it, but that's stupid. We are created. Amen. We are created in the image of our Father in heaven. Amen. God said, let us create them in our image. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're all there in the beginning. All there in the beginning. And and we are wonderfully created. You are wonderfully created in the image of our Father in heaven. Amen. Um we are all special. We all have special talents. Amen. We all have something special to offer. Amen. You look at look at um the body of Christ. Amen. Just like your body. Each cell in the body has a, a, a specific duty, a specific something to do, something that they uh, accomplish, okay? From the cell to an organ. Amen. Your heart, your liver, your kidney, everything has a special function. The brain controls everything. Amen. So you, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, amen, you become a member, a part of the body of Christ. And you have a special talent, a special job, something to do, amen. Think of it like that. And we all need to figure out what that is. Some people are teachers, some people are preachers, some people people are um, intercessors, prayer warriors. You know, everybody has a special thing to do. Me and my brother Barry Blanchard have a special ministry that the Lord Jesus put on our heart. A, a nursing home ministry. We go to the nursing home and we praise the Lord and we and we pray for the elderly and we uh, pump them up, get them inspired by the Holy Spirit. You know. And that is the blessing on us, a blessing for them, and that is part of what we do for the body of Christ. Amen? Even if you just sit there and smile and make somebody's day, you know, 
Tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody Jesus loves them. You know. An encourager. Amen. Pray. You can pray for people. Amen. You can pray for people. Pray for those you love. Pray for the people you know. Pray for the people you don't know. Pray for your enemies, Jesus says. Amen. Everybody's special. Don't ever think that you're not. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you're not. Because you are. God loves you. I love you. Amen. Love one another as I have loved you, Jesus tells us. Amen. And, and if you ever doubt the deity of Jesus, that he is God, this is a scripture that reminds me. And it says, In the beginning the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God. And who's the Word? Jesus is the Word. Amen? The ver second verse, He was in the beginning with God. He was in the beginning with God. He is God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him, nothing came into being that has come into being. So everything that you see around you, everything that has created, everything, was created by Him, for Him, through Him. Amen? Jesus is Lord, King of Kings, the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through me, Jesus says. You want eternal glory, eternal life with God the Father? Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior today. Don't wait. Amen? Invite Him into your life. Profess your faith in Him and Him alone. Jesus came down from heaven. God came down from heaven in the form of man. Lived a sinless life. Amen? Sinless. Think about that. Never hurt anybody. Never did any wrong against anyone, against God, against... He just did good. Everywhere he went, he did good. He healed people. He prayed for people. He cast out demons. He, he did what he could for man. Jesus did not come to judge the world. That comes later. Came to help. Amen? John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life okay for it says for God did not send the son into the world to judge the world but that the world might be saved through him amen Jesus came so that people can be saved so that the good news of salvation could be spread that people would know First of all, know the truth. Second of all, know how they can make it to heaven. Amen. And he spoke of love, joy, happiness, mercy, and grace, and forgiveness. You know? And he told us how we can achieve those things. By believing in him. Amen. By following God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the whole nine yards. Following them. In straight into heaven amen and there's there's a choice to be made amen we all have a choice God gave us free will that's where free will comes in y'all free will freedom to choose everybody has a choice nobody's gonna force Jesus on you Jesus you, I've read the Bible you know I'm reading the Bible and the New Testament and I never saw so far where Jesus says, force me on anybody. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, he sent them out two by two to spread the good news, to heal. He gave them the power of healing and to cast out demons, to show them what God can do, the power, the true power of God. And what awaits us in heaven. Amen. And he told them, and I'm paraphrasing here, y'all. 
if you go into a town and they do not receive you, when you leave, shut, shake the de- sh- no. shake the dust off your feet. Amen. You did what I asked you to do. Amen. So, so we have the information. Amen. You have the information. What you need to do. It's up to each and every one of us to make a conscious decision, a well-informed decision of what we're going to do. Are we going to follow God or are we not going to follow God? And if we follow God, if we follow Jesus into heaven, that's where we're going to end up. But if we don't, hey, there's another place where it's a lot hotter. You think it's been hot here lately? (laughs) Wait. You know, and I'm not making any uh, threats or trying to scare anybody. I'm just trying to give you the truth, the facts. Amen? The fact about where we're going to go if we don't follow Jesus and where we're going to go if we do. Amen? God is good all the time. You know? It says in... um, It continues to say, verse 18, He who believes in Him is not judged he who does not believe is judged already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. All the time God is good. You know? So, Jesus didn't come into the world to judge the world. Not at that time. That comes later. For the Bible tells us, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Get ready, oh. Are you ready? Are you truly ready? Do you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart? Are you serving Him to the best of your ability? Are we perfect? No, we can't be perfect. None of us. Am I perfect? No, by any means. No, no, no. But I try my best to serve God, to, to do what the Lord Jesus asked of me. Amen. When the Holy Spirit, Spirit puts a conviction on my heart, I follow it to the best of my ability. Amen. Whew. But Lord, I make mistakes just like anybody else. But when you know that you know that you know that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior, there's a little word called repent. Amen. Repent. When you do something wrong, repent. Lord, I'm sorry. I know you've already forgiven me for past, present, and future sins, but Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done. Lost my mind for a second, Lord. Amen. And turn. And turn, Lord. Turn from that sin, make a 180. Looks, it said I was having connection issues, but anyway, um, turn from that sin, make a 180, and go in the opposite direction. Amen. And try your best not to go do that again. Amen. But it's imperative as Christians when we do make mistakes to acknowledge them, because when you acknowledge them, you can face them. You can sit, sorry, Lord, and you can do your best not to do it again. You know, it's, you have to realize what you're doing. And when you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, when you have Him as your Lord and your Savior, the Holy Spirit is going to put a conviction on you. And you know, you know when you've done something wrong or when you didn't. When you didn't. Amen? It's, it's not uh, rocket science when you saved. Amen? It's not rocket science to know between good and bad, good and evil. Amen? Just be aware of what you're doing. You know? And know. And you know how you know? Get in God's Word. Get in God's Word. It's going to tell us what's good, what's bad. And we can use our own judgment. Amen? Amen? There's that choice. There's that free will again. What are you going to choose? What am I going to choose? Hopefully we make the right choice. Amen. According to God's word. According to his will for us. 
that we can maybe walk the walk and talk the talk if we can amen if we can oh lord uh i got a little book here i'm gonna kind of read through a little bit of uh, looking at it it says what to do in tough times oh lord we all we all need some uh, advice on that amen so um it says here tough times are not new amen well-known radio commentator commentator and author paul harvey well i used to love to hear him on the radio once said in times like these it helps to recall that there have always been times like these <laughs> amen amen and tough times are not new the late noted film star mary pickford wrote during the great depression years in her book why not try god amen today is a new day you will get out of it just what you put into it hmm. you will get out of it just what you put into it if you may if you have made mistakes even serious mistakes there is always another chance for you and supposing you have tried and failed again and again you may have a fresh start any moment you choose for this thing that we call failure is not the falling down or the staying down amen you get that failure is not the falling down but staying down the late great evangelist Dwight L. Moody once said character is what a man is in the dark it is just as true to say character is what a man or woman is in tough times character what kind of character do you have mm -hmm. here we go this says don't forget this too will pass it may seem odd to talk about tough times when many have prophesied we are in a time of overflow that these are good times however that will not be true for everyone not every not even every Christian only for those who have sold finances time prayer and obedience in previous years amen sowing a seed for God investing in God I'm not talking just monetarily which we should you know the Bible tells us to pay our thought our tithes that's between you and God but uh, invest time in God invest in prayer invest in obedience in God as you invest in these things in God as you sow these seeds you know we can only sow a seed and God makes it grow so if we sow seeds and we pray you know and we put our faith in the Lord God's gonna make these things grow y'all the definition of overflow changes when tough times involve an entire community or nation such as the 1930 1939 years of the Great Depression Tough times then meant a national environment of poverty, panic, fear, and, deprav and deprivation. Amen. I mean, tough times can be all kind of things. Overflow meant having enough to eat, being able to keep your home, walking in the peace of God, and having enough for yourself, your family, and to help others. That was true prosperity in tough times. There were people who lived like that. Amen. If, if, if you're understanding this, okay, um, overflow, you know, overflow for us is a lot different. In this country, it's a lot different than for countries around the world, especially poorer countries. Amen tough times for them is a daily occurrence not enough to eat you know looking for work uh, taking care of your children 
you know, feeding your children before you even think about feeding yourself. Amen? Tough times for them. Overflow for them is having enough to eat, feeding their children, clothing their children. That's overflow and a joyful time for them. Amen? So a lot of times what we think is tough, it's nothing. Amen? We may be going through some tough times, some tough things, but thank God for the blessings that we have. Think about thanking God for what you have. Amen? And thanking Him for what you don't have sometimes. This is a good little booklet. I'm going to have to read through it some more later. Amen? But I just want to bless everybody today. Bless each and every person that needs a blessing today, Lord, according to your will, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for allowing us one more day to serve you on this planet Earth. Remember, y'all, yesterday is gone. One thing we can do from yesterday is learn from yesterday. Tomorrow's not here yet. Don't worry about tomorrow. God got that. Concentrate on what you can do today for God, for others, and for yourself. Just concentrate on the glory of God today, the blessings that He's given us today. Amen? Amen. Amen. Remember, God loves y'all. I love y'all. Et on va dire comme tout le temps, mes amis. Soyez-vous autres.